Welcome back to What Gear Reviews. Today I am doing the review on the Google Nexus 9 tablet. Now I've had this for just over a week and uh, I did an unboxing video a week ago, first impressions video. And you should really check that out because I think HTC have done a fantastic job with the packaging on this product. So if you want to check that out, hit the What Gear logo now. So this is the first time I've ever used the HTC device and I have to say I am pretty impressed and Google must have pretty high expectations of HTC to throw their name on it. So uh, yeah, I only have one problem. When I get this out on the train, everyone thinks it's an iPad because from the front, in terms of size, it is very, very similar. If it just had a little home button at the base here, it would look exactly like an iPad. So I think people see this and think, oh, he's got an iPad, until they realize, hold on, that's not a retina display. And uh, it isn't. And I have to say, I have a couple of problems with the display. So when I was on the train watching the Flash fight the arrow, which was pretty awesome, I have to say, for about three minutes, until somehow, at the speed of the Flash, they managed to turn it back into pure cheese. Very. You okay? Oh, this is gonna be a special kind of hangover. I noticed quite a lot of light leaking across the top and the bottom of the screen, uh, which was a bit distracting. But you know what, it's only a small issue. The screen is still fantastic. So another little issue I had with this tablet is the buttons on the side. I mean, you can't really see it uh, that well if you're looking at it from the front. Um, they stick out a little bit. The problem is they don't move that much. And when you push these buttons, they don't really go anywhere. Um, so, you know, if you're kind of just feeling around for it, it's quite hard to find and when you actually push it, it's hard to know if you've actually pushed it or not. So that kind of cheapens the whole thing, which is a bit disappointing really. It seems like something they could fix quite easily. Someone should have really addressed this during the production process of this tablet. So that's enough negative points about this now. Let's move on to some of the nice points. So let's talk about the real star of the show here. It is Google Android Lollipop. That's right, Wheezy. What is it with these wrappers and lollipops? So the new operating system works really, really well. And considering this is not got the fastest processor in the world, it is really, really snappy. The new animations look amazing. The multitasking is fantastic. I mean, you can just scroll back and forth very, very easily. The things that you've done. Uh, everything looks really, really nice. I have to say, this really shines through as being the best feature of this tablet and it is the operating system. I don't know if when I got this out of the box, if I skipped the whole introduction process, I probably did because I just, I never really read those things. But as you can see on the base here, they've gone for these sort of PlayStation triangle circle square symbols. Uh, for me, using tablets and phones quite a lot, that's quite easy for me to figure out what that does. But for someone who has skipped that process and doesn't really know much about tablets, it might take a while to figure out what those buttons do because there's no real explanation there or indication as to what they are. Uh, they're just shapes. And we've got the all apps button there, which is great. Everything pops up really, really quickly. Yeah, fantastic. The way everything kind of just expands out of the corners of the bottom of the sides, it looks fantastic. The main difference between Google Android Lollipop and the previous KitKat is really the animations and the sort of backgrounding which is fantastic. Apart from that, I haven't come across too many different changes. I mean, you've got sort of like features where you do a drop down and then drop down again. Trust me, believe me, it's good. So I'm really looking forward to having this on my next phone or an update for my current phone, the Galaxy Note 3. Um, I can't wait. It really is a good operating system. So let's run through the specs real quick. So it has an 8.9 IPS LCD display with a four to three aspect ratio with a resolution of 2048 by 1536. And on the front, it has fantastic speakers, which hit your ears like the UFC phenomenon, straight out of Ireland, Conor McGregor. And on the back, we have an eight megapixel rear facing camera. And on the front, a 1.6 megapixel camera. Inside, we have a 64-bit NVIDIA Tegra K1 processor, 2.3 gigahertz, and a graphics processing unit, which is 192 core Kepler. And if you haven't got a clue what that is, don't worry about it, just know that it's pretty good at handling games. 
In terms of memory, you can get this in a 16 or 32 gigabyte version, and it weighs just 425 grams with the battery, which is 6,700 mAh. And the glass that protects it is Gorilla Glass. So what do I think of this tablet? I have to say, it's pretty nice. The texture on the back is fantastic. The operating system is clearly the most exciting thing about this tablet. Uh, the screen is pretty good. I'm quite impressed with how fast it can perform tasks considering it's only a dual core processor. In terms of build quality, it could be better. I think HTC need to make some improvements for their next one. Um, Kaya really likes it, doesn't it? So yeah, it's pretty good. So if you're after a tablet which is designed with you in mind, which fits your hand with a soft grip back and subtle curves, which has been built with a thin bezel, brush metal sides, clean lines and unique colors, and offers crisp and clear sound with its front facing HTC boom sound speakers, and out of the box will be running Google Android. God damn it Wheezy, get the hell out of here. As I was saying, it has Google Android Lollipop, which Google say is the sweetest release yet. Then get one of these, and that won't be a problem. And in Wayne Manor, stately and secure home of millionaire Bruce Wayne and his youthful ward, Dick Grayson. Hey Alfred, I've got a question for Batman. I'll beckon you, sir, immediately. Excuse me for interrupting, sir, but it's the bat phone. Oh, boy! Yes, Commissioner. Hey, Batman, I told you to stop calling me Commissioner. It's Troy from Woodgate. Him again? Yeah, it's me again. I just got one question. HTC is saying that this new Nexus 9 is for movies and makers. What the hell does that mean? Nobody else would use such a spectacular and bizarre method to flaunt a puzzle. What the devil is the culprit trying to tell us? The riddle itself is pretty basic.